Hi, good afternoon Desert Mountain members. My name is John Lieberger, PGA Director of Golf, and this is Sean Emerson, our Director of Agronomy. We're here today to talk a little bit about how to repair your ball marks. Sean, show us how you'd like the members at Desert Mountain to repair their ball marks when they're out playing golf. All right, that's great. Uh, the first thing they always tell you about fixing ball marks is to do it immediately. A ball mark that's not fixed within the first hour is probably survival rate is 50%. So when you go out there and you see a ball mark, fix it immediately. And if you can fix one or two from the previous group in front of you, that would be fantastic. But there's two tools I'm showing you right now. One is a single prong and one's a double prong. And one of the things that I always try to tell people now when you fix a ball mark is find the high side of the ball mark, stick the prong into the ground, and pinch it down. Just like this, John. Sean, what happens if you go the other way? Well, we call that a snow cone, and then watch this one go up. See how the grass pops up? So you tear the roots. Tear the roots and everything. So the most important thing is to go down, and then you can either step on it or pat it on your with your putter. And, John, you could talk to them, too, about the rules have changed on ball marks. Well, I've seen so many people snow cone, and the next day that area dies right. because they've tore all the roots. And the misnomer is if you watched, and you'll see it this week on the Charles Schwab Cup down at Phoenix Country Club, or what happened at Desert Mountain, when you're a PGA Pro, they'll pop them up and then put the dirt down because they just want a smooth surface. Absolutely. However, two weeks later, the grass will die. So this is the best way to keep the grass alive and take care of it. When my crew fix the ball marks on the, on the, on the golf course, we actually roll it with a piece of pipe to smooth it out. So, but for the members, if they could just pat it down with their foot or putter, that'd be a great, great job from them. And a uh, properly fixed ball mark will heal in about 24 hours. That's correct. Right. You know, that's the thing. You want to see the ball marks for three weeks, or you want to see it no more? <laughs> I prefer no more. <laughs> I do, so. too. Okay. Thank you all. Have a great day.